How many illegitimate children has Bill Clinton fathered? How many sexual assault victims has Hillary Clinton threatened into silence? As we rapidly approach election day in the dis United States of America, more astonishing details continue to emerge about the dishonesty and deception of the Clintons. Today, an explosive news story went viral across the internet as a 30-year-old man says he is Bill Clinton's son. His goal? To meet my dad and shake his hand. The man's name is Danny Williams. You can visit his Facebook page here, where he shares numerous photos that show a striking resemblance to Bill Clinton. Danny's mother is African American and used to be a prostitute. Bill Clinton paid to have sex with her on multiple occasions, says the mother, Bobby Ann Williams. The Globe interviewed Danny's mother, a former prostitute named Bobby Ann Williams, who told the story of how she allegedly met and began a relationship with Clinton in 1984, reports the Daily Mail. She says Clinton went out for a run one day in Little Rock, when he jumped by her housing project and introduced himself to her. She was 24 years old at the time. A few days later, Clinton allegedly jumped by the housing project again and paid Bobby $200 for her to have sex with him behind some bushes. A DNA test was supposedly run in 1999, but results were imprecise and are now being widely questioned. Chelsea Clinton's father is not Bill Clinton, what many people still don't realize. By the way, is that while Bill Clinton was off having sex with prostitutes, and any woman he could pounce on and rape, Hillary Clinton was impregnated by Webster Hubble, the biological father of Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea looks just like Webster Hubble in her facial structure. See this story for more photos revealing the obvious resemblance. How many lives have been destroyed by the Clintons, really? The point in all this is not simply that a 30-year-old man says his mother was an African-American prostitute and his father was the President of the United States, but rather the bigger question, just how many lives have been destroyed by the Clintons and their sexual abuse, intimidation and threatening of people. As I already published here on Natural News, there's an astonishingly long list of women who have been sexually assaulted, threatened and intimidated by Bill and Hillary Clinton. While Bill was off digging bimbos, Hillary ran the cover-up operation, sending in the heavyweights to threaten women with killing their children if they didn't stay quiet. It's all part of a long, sordid history of the systematic abuse of women who threaten their political careers. While Hillary Clinton claims, when she's lying, to support women and children, in reality she and Bill have collectively abused, assaulted and threatened more women in America than Bill Cosby and Anthony Weiner combined. For more than three decades, Bill's sexual assaults and rapes of women have been covered up by Hillary Clinton and the complicit leftist media run by Democrat Party operatives like George Stephanopoulos and Anderson Cooper. To them, it doesn't matter how many women have to be threatened, destroyed or even are cancelled as long as the Clintons maintain power. Clinton's Arkansas state troopers left with the incriminating security camera VHS tape and left Johnson as a destroyed, crumpled mess, barely alive on the floor of his condominium. For those who say the Clintons don't use violence to attain their political ends, we give you the 1992 beating of Gary Johnson. The Clintons' War on Women by Roger Stone When it comes to the Clintons, there is no person they won't kill or threaten to of being abused, threatened or neglected by the Clintons, the leftist media systematically silences the accusers and gives a free pass to the Clintons. STOP The Clintons' Reign of Terror on Election Day in about 30 days, it seems, the Clintons' reign of terror across America may finally be put to a stop by the voters. Once Trump takes office, one of his first priorities must be to launch federal investigations into the criminal racketeering of the Clintons and their complicit Democrat operatives, such as Debbie Wasserman Schultz. 
way the people cannot allow the Clintons to get away with a lifetime of abusing women, raping women, executing political enemies and using KGB style threats and intimidation tactics to claw their way into political power. It's time to stop the Clintons for good and restore America to a country that isn't run by a serial rapist, Bill, and his mafia boss co-conspirator, Hillary. This November 8th, vote for Donald Trump and end the nightmare of the Clintons forever.